in the pop field test program, the motor part will only show for the degrees and rotation detection, and it's not going to demonstrate a movement on the motor. So now, let's see the first one. This is the NXT last servo motor. As you can see, the degree is moving. And when I change the next mode, it shows the how many rotations I have moved. And the next one, the medium servo motors is also the same. First mode is used to detect the degree rotated. And the second one is used to detect the number of rotation. <laughs> and the third one is NXT servo motor. And the first one is the degree. And the second one is the number of rotation. And the power motor, power function motor, because these parts do not contain any sensor included inside. So it's not allowed to show any sensor or motor in the operating screen. But it doesn't mean this motor cannot operate normally. And then I'll show you how to demonstrate the movement on this motor. And you can see if this brake detects nothing on the sensor, it will show none on the screen. Even though you pop out the connector, it will show none. And then let's go out for another program. And this is the IR control. And first, you need to put the infrared sensor on the four parts of sensor part. And then you use this remote to demonstrate the motion move. And the first, this is. Now this is the channel 1. You can see the medium servo motor moving. And this up and down so two direction. And then the next one. The next T motor. And I change to channel 2 this time to operate the other motor and this is the power function motor And this useless in this infrared remote mode. So this is the end of the demonstration of the pop field testing. And thank you for watching for this long video. And hope you enjoy my video. And you can subscribe my channel so that you can see more new and curious video in the future. Thank you.